Hi everyone, Christopher Beast here. So I've been uh, busy working on some projects and one of the strange projects I decided to work on was I found this open source 2D chess game built in Unity, but it wasn't built as a game. It was actually built as an AI to demonstrate how to build competitive, very complex AIs in Unity. And it was really cool. And I was like, oh my God, this dude has an amazing thing he's built. What if I like did some basic UI work, cleaned it up a little bit, and made it into a full-blown game. And that's what I did. And uh, that's why I'm just going to showcase what I did, and then I'm going to showcase the, the code changes and, and really just show off what a strange hobby thing I've decided to work on. So the, the big change here is I've added hot seats, and I've added, uh, you know, difficulties. Uh, his original thing did not have that because he was just trying to demonstrate some AI. So hot seat is exactly what it sounds like. You can just play against yourself. This is what you do when you have no friends. Um, an experience in life that I am well aware of at this point. Let's see if I can... Shit. Okay, well, you get the idea. So that's hot seat. AI versus AI is gets to showcase this beautiful AI that this guy made. Uh, it's very, very well made. It's very strong. It knows what it's doing. I have no idea what it's doing. It, it's doing something, though. Um, I'm not good at chess at all. So I'm going to assume these are good moves. I've looked at his documentation, and it looks like it's pretty good from what I've seen from his scoring. But yeah, turning to the menu, we have uh, three options, easy, medium, and hard, to play as white or black. It doesn't matter. So we're going to play white. And if you play easy, what it's going to do for move is as you can see see how it says eval zero depth search zero so i basically gave it like a couple microseconds I'm not, I'm, i don't remember how many but it's not a lot to search moves now it's still walloping my ass because i am dreadfully bad at chess but this bot is insanely weaker than the other one like for example just Yes, it took my queen, but it just blundered a tween. It probably would have been able to put me in the checkmate with the other bot. I am losing pieces rapidly. But the... the God, I'm going to lose. The point is, this bot is the weakest of the three. Moving over to medium, this thing's going to be a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to see the extent of how much better it is, but as you can see, it actually can start searching some depth. Um, it's evaluating different moves. Let me see, and I'm losing pieces again. I don't know if I'm the best person to demonstrate a chess bot, because... <laughs> see, as you can see, it has an eval of 12.1. That means it's, uh, out of all of the moves it's searched, two moves in advance, um, we have made, it has made a move that is 12.05, uh, better than us. It's not times, but it's just like, it is better than us by a pretty large margin. Um, and we're probably going to lose shortly. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're losing very quickly. Okay, um, we can return to menu and we can try hard. Hard now, if I can survive long enough. See, it's searching six. It's searching far deeper than it was, um, which is wetting it. Well, right now I'm actually not doing too bad. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of hitting random buttons. Um, it's wetting it be able to search deeper and as of such make even better decisions. And this is all his his programming was the, you know, doing the searching, evaluating moves, all the, the fun, nerdy stuff that I have zero idea how he did. But what I did was put constraints on it so it can only uh, have certain amounts of searching in each difficulty so it plays more like an actual game. Um, I personally, one thing I'm noting from personal, what I want to do with the project moving forward, as you can see, dang, I'm really losing now. Uh, I would like to be able to make pure random moves. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, I'm going to be honest. Um, but that is something I would like. I'm about to get checkmated. Let's see. Yeah, I'm about to get checkmated. So we're, we're 20 down right now. Um, and this is just the power of his bot, and it's it's pure beauty. Beating me with 25 right now. Yeah, mate in five. It's gonna get mate faster than that. This is bad. Yeah. So that's just a demonstration of the difficulties. And really just what I did, as you can see, you have the cute little Zorb is here. Um, the other thing with the UI is I cleaned up his UI. This originally did not have the backdrop. I don't like the backdrop, but it didn't have it originally. 
And originally, all of that menu stuff was in one scene. It was all here on the side. I didn't think that looked too great for a game. And um, I just also, the ability to do hot seat was also something that I implemented. So that's a demonstration of this project. It's a weird little thing I worked on. I am intending on a project that's much bigger scale that's going to use this as a basis. But because that project is taking so long, um, I figured I would just demonstrate what I've got so far. If you'd like to play a silly little 2D chess game made by yours truly, then I'll have a link to the inch.io page below. But this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all well next time.